Hey guys, welcome back to Fury Time channel. Anthony Joshua vs Tyson Fury plane becomes clear as two hungry million dollars fight ages closer. Joshua and Fury have both been back to earn over 100 million for their grudge fight, which could take place before the end of this year. AJ and Tyson could meet in the ring at the end of this year, as the path for their graduate fight has now become clear. Domestic rivals Joshua and Fury have been linked to fight for almost a decade, but their meetings is now aging closer after AJ guaranteed himself an undisputed world title shot by KOing former UFC champion Francis Ngannou last month. I've got some time to go on dates now and mingle a little bit. I'm training at the minute of a god two months before I get into training camp. Joshua will fight a winner of Daniel Dubos versus Filip Hargovic in September, according to his good friend Eric Chizor. A fight between Dubos and Hargovic will likely take place on the undercard of Arthur Betterbeef and Dmitry Bivos' undisputed light heavyweight fight in Saudi Arabia on June 1st. If AJ can come out of his September fight relatively unsketched, it means he could be set for a three months turnaround to fly Fury in Saudi Arabia at the end of the year. Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn thinks the domestic clash could be made even sooner. When asked what is more likely to happen first, darts ace a Luke Leader winning a world championship or Joshua facing Fury, Hearn told, well, because the darts championship comes in December and January, I'm gonna say that Fury vs AJ happens this year, so I'm gonna say Fury vs AJ happens first, the functioner said. Anthony Joshua reveals fuel that would motivate him in a Tyson Fury fight. Hey, Jay has revealed that he has stored every bit of trash talk he has received from heavyweight Tyson Fury, and will use it as a fuel if the pair do finally fight each other in the ring. However, now Saudi boxing promoter Turki Alashi has managed to get Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn and Fury's promoter Frank Warren, to work together on shows. A fight between the pairs feels closer than ever. For the last eight and a half years, the British rivals have both simultaneously held world title belts, but to make a fight between the pairs has never quite materialized. Joshua wants to fight Tyson Fury. And uh, should that come to pass, Joshua has revealed during an appearance on the Jonathan Rose show that he is in no mood to forget any of the trash talk Fury has dished out over the years. 100%. Joshua replied when asked if he takes trash talk personally. You get it personally and you meditate on it and you want to punish them for what they have said about you. When pressed over how he felt when Fury called him a silly sausage, Joshua countered, What do you think I felt? This is one of my rivals. This is uh, someone I want to compete with one day. Everything he has said, I have it stored in the back of my memory. And when the fight happens, I want to use that as a lot of fuel. Bob Arum, I very troubled with the way Tyson Fury looked in his last fight. Promoter Bob Arum is the letter main thing words when it comes to his concerns about Tyson Fury's recent performance. Bob Arum's apprehensions stem from Fury's lackluster showing against Francis Ngannou last October, where the champion was uh, dropped hard by a left hook from the Noise fighter. Despite escaping with a victory, Fury's performance raised the eyebrows. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.